what is LinkedIn Volume Search and how can you use it to find your ideal clients. In this video, I will show you exactly how to use LinkedIn Boolean operators to find new leads for your business. So let's start by a simple definition. Basically, LinkedIn Boolean Search is a really simple programmatic language that you can use to build super targeted lead list using LinkedIn Search Engine. It uses five different parameters, or, and, not, quotation marks, and parentheses. And now I will show you exactly how these parameters work. Let's start with or. So basically, or means either. So if you use or, you will have in your search results all the people that have at least one of the keywords in your list on their profiles or on their job titles, depending on the search field you used. So you can use or if you are looking for at least one keyword in the profiles of your prospect, like fitness or nutrition, for example, you can also build lists of job titles like coach or consultant or freelancer. And you can also uh, look for different orthographies for the same word like VP or vice president. These are basically the three use cases for or. If you use and between two keywords, you will have in your search results all the people that have the two keywords on their profiles or on their job titles. So you could write stuff like e-commerce and logistic to have people working uh, in logistic in the e-commerce field. You can also look for job titles like with coach and fitness and look for decision makers into a specific field like with founder and B2B and SaaS, for example. And if we take the last example, only the profiles with the three keywords, founder, B2B, and SaaS on their profile will come up on the search results. Now let's talk about not. So using not, you are telling LinkedIn that you want to exclude all the profiles containing a specific keyword from your search results. So you could write something like CEO not assistant, because if you use, for example, the job title filter to look for CEOs, assistant to the CEO will mention the keyword CEO in the job title because the job title will be assistant to the CEO. So we want to make sure to exclude these people because they are not decision maker. And for that, you can write CEO, not assistant. Same thing if you are a recruiter and you want to hire developers, for example, you can write developer, not freelancer, not consultant, for example, because you want to talk to people ready to take a job, so not freelancers. So if you have a blacklist of keywords, just add them at the end of your Boolean search, writing not A, not B, not C, not D, and you can easily exclude this keyword from the search results like this. Now let's talk about quotation marks. So quotation marks allow you to search for exact expression, so more than one word. If you write several words in the LinkedIn search engine without adding quotation marks, LinkedIn will by default, add end between them. So if you write head of sales, for example, LinkedIn will read it head and of and sales. So for example, job titles like head of marketing and sales will come up. So the expression is not exact, but you got the three keywords, head of and sales. But if you add quotation marks around your sentence, around your expression, LinkedIn will only look for these three keywords in this order. For example, head of marketing and sales will disappear from a search result, but you will keep head of sales and marketing because the three keywords are next to each other. This is really important, especially if you use the general keyword search and not the job title search only, because if someone is the head of operation, for example, and writes in the description of his job title, I really hate sales, you got head of operation and sales. So uh, the profile will appear in search results. So every time you write more than one word in a Boolean expression, make sure to add quotation marks around it. Last but not least, parentheses. So parentheses allow you to combine several Boolean operators to run really specific searches. Like in mathematic multiplications, the operation inside the parentheses are performed first. This can get a little bit complicated, so here is a super simple template that you can use. So my advice for you is to put the functions into the first parenthesis, then add the end. In the second parenthesis, you add all the fields related keyword, and then you add the not. And in the last parenthesis, you add all 
uh, the keywords you want to exclude from a search. So let's take an example with this search here. So in the first parenthesis, I had all the functions uh, related keywords. So head, VP, vice president. And you can see here, I did quotes uh, around vice president because there are two words or chief. So that was for the functions. And, and then I had the fields uh, related uh, keywords. So here I'm targeting sales or marketing. And then in the last parenthesis, I have not. And then all the keywords I want to exclude from my search. So here, freelance, coach, or consultant. And basically this search will look for several job titles, head and sales, head and marketing, VP sales, VP marketing, vice president sales, vice president marketing, chief sales, chief marketing. So you can use this template and every time you find a new keyword for the function or new keyword for the field, you just have to add them using or uh, in your Boolean expression. And that expression will get bigger and bigger as you get more precise in your targeting. Okay, so now that you get all the theory on LinkedIn Boolean search, let's go to LinkedIn and put that into practice. Okay, so on the LinkedIn basic search engine, you can use Boolean search in two fields. So here to general the keyword search that will look for keywords into all the profile of your prospect, including job titles, job description, recommendations, skills, absolutely anything that is written on uh, the LinkedIn profile. And then you get specific uh, fields. Uh, so you click here on whole filters and then you scroll down, you get first name, last name, not so relevant. But uh, the interesting ones are title, company, and school. And here you can write Boolean queries as well. Uh, so really important, if you use the general keyword search, make sure to add quotes because here, basically, if you write this, you will look for head and of and sales into all the profiles. So if you have the aid of talent acquisition and then you got an off somewhere and then you got a sales from an experience 10 years ago, uh, the profile will appear. So let's take a quick example here. Here I got nearly 2 million results and just by adding the quotes, um, this uh, decreased to uh, 400,000. So quick example to show you that adding quotes really make your search much more specific and much more precise. So don't forget that. Okay, so now let's say I want to use Boolean search and I want to also look for head of marketing. So I write or head of marketing and exclude the assistant. So uh, not assistant and let's say uh, not a freelancer. So here I have more than uh, 600,000 results. But the thing is here I'm looking into the world profile. So I might have people here which uh, the experience as head of sales or head of marketing was like 10 years ago. I want to uh, speak to people that are head of sales or marketing right now. So for that, it's much better to take that expression here and to go into the job title filter here because this filter will look only into the current job experiences, not the past one. So just need to copy paste that. Here I got more than 600,000 600, results. And if I click here and show the results, you can see that now I have only uh, 200,000 results. So it means that 400,000 results was um, people with previous experiences as head of sales or marketing. So remember that if you are looking for job titles, don't use the keyword filter, use the job title filter here. And let's say you want to look for head of sales or marketing into a specific field, then you can write something like, I don't know, biology here. And then you will have head of sales working into the biology industry because you are looking for job titles here. And then you are looking for biology somewhere in the profile. And you can see here, uh, the search is pretty precise because I have only 2000 results. Let's take another example for recruiting, for example. So let's say you want to target marketers which are using a specific tool or a specific technology. Let's say I want, uh, so, don't need to add quotes here because that will be only one word. So marketer or marketing here. You can see you can show result to get all marketer or marketing. And then let's say I want them to uh, use MailChimp, which is a, 
an email marketing tool. So here you see I got marketing consultant and I got mentions of MailChimp here in the skills or here in the description. So the best thing for me to, uh, the best way to use uh, the free LinkedIn search engine is to combine um, the title, job title filter, and here the general keyword search to look for people with a precise job title and a expertise, a specific keyword on their profile. And that way you can build a really targeted list. And of course you can add uh, odd tool, like I don't know, send in blue here. You can add all the tools you want. And by the way, a special tip for you guys, you can see that here, the fields are uh, really tiny. This is really difficult to uh, write, see and edit um, Boolean queries here. So my advice for you is to write first uh, your Boolean queries into a notepad outside of a LinkedIn. And once you know that they are correct and you double checking them, then you can copy paste them into LinkedIn. Otherwise there is high chance you will struggle and lose time editing and correcting your Boolean searches. LinkedIn basic search is pretty good, but it has some limits. The first one is that the search results are limited to 1000 results. So here you can see that I have 10 results per pages. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I have 100 pages. So 10 multiplied by 100, it makes 1000 results. And you can access uh, to the result after that. Here you can see that I can click on next. Second thing is that if your Boolean search is too long, um, here I've taken an example, LinkedIn will block uh, your search. Here they say no result found, but actually that's not true. And if I do the same um, in the title filter here, so let me delete that, go to all filters here and click on show results. Here, no results found again, but uh, they, they do that to make you buy a LinkedIn sales navigator, which is the advanced version of the LinkedIn search engine. And if I go here on sales navigator and I copy paste the exact same expression, you will see that I have results. And if I use here the current job title filter as well, you can see that I have results. So you can only write uh, limited uh, internal size, limited size uh, Boolean searches on the free LinkedIn search engine. If you want to build a really targeted lead list and write super long Boolean searches, you will need to upgrade to LinkedIn Sales Navigator. With LinkedIn Sales Navigator, you got no limitation on Boolean searches. You got an unlimited number of searches every month, whereas with LinkedIn Basic Search, you are limited by the commercial use limit. The search results goes up to 2,500 results. So here I got 25 results per pages and I got 100 pages as well. So 2,500 results. The way Boolean search uh, works on Sales Navigator is pretty much the same. You got the keyword search here, which will look into the whole profile. And then you got uh, the current job title, which will only look into the current job experiences uh, of your prospect. If you are willing to know more about how Sales Navigator can help you build super targeted lead list, I've made a one hour tutorial on this topic and you can watch it by clicking on the image just right here. Sales Navigator is much more powerful than the LinkedIn basic search engine. And as I said, if you want to make LinkedIn and cold email your main lead generation channel, you absolutely need to know how to master this tool. So I let you click on the link here and I see you in the next video.